Hello, the Arduino Opla IOT kit is a versatile kit designed for creating and managing Internet of Things projects. The Opla stands for Open Source Programmable Logic Analyzer, but in the context of the IOT kit, it, represented, it represents a set of tools and components to help you develop connected applications. This kit provides a robust set of components for creating a wide range of IOT applications from simple sensor projects to more complex systems involving cloud connectivity and data analysis. First, let's see what, the, uh, what components this kit contains. MKR IOT carrier with a place for a 3.7 volt lithium battery. Next, Arduino MKR Wi Fi 1010 board. Plastic box for career. Moisture sensor. Next, peer sensor. And various cables that are needed to connect external components as well as USB cable for connecting to a PC. MKR IOT carrier board contains of several sensors for temperature and humidity, uh, pressure sensor, light sensor, five capacitive buttons, then two relays, micro SD card reader, different types of connectors, and on the front side, color display. On the Arduino page dedicated specifically for this kit, you will find a detailed description, pictures and ensemble instructions, as well as many projects that can be made with the given components. This is my first time meeting uh, this kit, so I will present you a very simple project, actually a famous game called Simon Says, for which this module fully corresponds physically, considering the central round display touch-sensitive buttons, RGB LEDs, as well as audio support. To, to make this project, we need only MKR IOT carrier and Arduino MKR Wi-Fi board. Since this is the first project with this kit, I will explain the assembly of the device step by step. First, we, mount, we need to mount microcontroller board on the appropriate base, making sure that the markings on the board and the base matching. If you want to power the board, uh, and uh, if you want to power the board and carrier with a battery, you will need one lithium-ion 3.7 volt battery while paying attention to the polarity.
To make project more portable and compact, you can place the MKR IOT carrier in the plastic casing. This provides good protection for the hardware and make, and make it easy to attach it to the surface, for example a wall, while also providing a nice glow for the RGB LEDs. Now the device is assembled and we can move on the software part. First we need to download the Arduino ID software from the given address. I'm specifically using the current latest version 2.3.2. You can also use the Arduino web editor, which requires an account and is directly connected to Arduino IOT Cloud, but more about that on another occasion. Then we connect the module to the USB port of the computer. And the Arduino ID editor will show options for updating the libraries and boards where we need to install them. I have already performed this operation before. Next we select the board and appropriate COM port. COM port is 8. And we are ready to install the first code. And now logically to make sure that everything is connected and installed correctly, we will upload a very simple Blink sketch. The onboard LED of the Arduino uh, MKR VF1010 is connected to pin 13. And a small relay is also connected to the same pin, so that both uh, visually and acoustically we will be able to make sure of the functionality of the device. Let's upload the code. This is working blink code. Now we can finally upload the previously mentioned sketch for Simon Says Game. Let me not forget to mention that the original sketch is the work of Julian Caro Linares and all credit goes to him. We paste the code uh, in the Arduino ID, choose the board and press Verify. If we get this error, we need to install Arduino MK, MKR IOT Career Library. We go to Sketch, Include Library, Manage Library and search for desired library. And at the end, Install.
Okay, now we can compile the code uh, without errors. Ok, done compiling. Next is uploading the code to the Arduino board on COM8. So, upload the code. And now the game is ready for testing and we will see how it behaves in real conditions. Or we need to reset the device. At start we need to choose between between three difficulty levels easy, normal and hard. Now I will choose normal level and the game begin. And finally a short conclusion, although this kit is primarily intended for IOT projects, this time I presented two simple local projects to introduce you to the basic functions and some of the possibilities. And in one of the next videos, an IOT project will follow.